Now we will talk about moving apps between desktops. Follow the given steps to move an app from one desktop to another. Open the task view pane by clicking on the task view button. Place the mouse pointer over the desktop thumbnail. It will display the thumbnails of all opened apps. Right click on the app that is to be moved and select move to option. This will display the desktop list that you have created. Choose the desktop to which you want to move the app. Let me give you a tip. You can also drag and drop an application window from one desktop to another. Let me now tell you how to close a desktop. To close a desktop, open the task view pane and place the mouse pointer on the desktop you want to close. Click on the close button present in the upper right corner of the desktop thumbnail to close the desktop. Let us now discuss about utilities of Windows 10. Windows 10 provides many utility programs for day-to-day -day applications and entertainment. For example, Windows Media Player, Disk Cleanup, Steps Recorder, Character Map, Notepad, Shape Collector, Map Input Panel, etc. Let us first discuss about Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player runs and organizes the digital media files, both audio and video, available in computer memory. We can listen to the radio stations from all over the world if internet connection is available. This software allows us to play, copy and create CDs or DVDs and copy music and video to portable devices. Students note that MPEG-H is a group of standards developed by the Moving Picture Experts Group MPEG for a digital container standard, audio and video compression standards. Now let us learn how to RIP, copy, CD to your computer. We can copy songs from our favorite music, CDs or DVDs onto your computers with Windows Media Player. When we rip music, we are actually copying songs from a CD to a computer. After the songs have been copied to our computer, we can use Windows Media Player to play and organize the songs, create playlists and copy music to a portable device. Click on the Start button, select All Apps and then choose Windows Media Player from the list. Insert an audio CD in the CD drive. You will see the list of songs stored on the CD in the Windows Media Player. Uncheck the checkbox next to any song that you do not want to rip. You can use the checkbox at the bottom of the list either to select all or clear all checkboxes at once. When you are done with the selection process, click on the RIP CD button. The ripping process will start and you can see the RIP status of individual songs. To stop the ripping process at any point, click on the Stop RIP button. Click on the RIP Settings button if you want to change the format, audio quality of ripped music files or you can keep the default Windows Media Format settings. The songs are ripped to the music folder contained in this PC folder. After the songs have been ripped, go to the music folder to play them. Alright students, now let me give you a tip that you can also burn a CD using software like Nero Express Burn, etc. Ok, let me explain you how to copy data to CD, burning CD. Saving important information on a CD or DVD is as easy as saving on a hard disk. You can create your own CD or DVD by selecting a folder of software or media files and dragging it to CD or DVD icon in this PC folder. Insert a blank CD in the CD drive of your computer. The Burn a Disk dialog box appears. Mention the CD name in Disk Title text box, select the option with the CD or DVD player and click on Next. An empty disk folder opens. Drag the files that you want to burn into this folder. Click on the Finish Burning option under the Manage tab. Again, a Burn to Disk dialog box appears. Click on the Next button. Windows Media Player will open. Click on the Start Burn button placed under the Burn tab. The songs will get burned to the disk. 
Okay, now let us find out how to play a movie using VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player is an easy to use application used to play almost all types of audio and video files. To play music using VLC, follow the steps. Click on Start, then go to All Apps, and then go to Video LAN, then go to VLC Media Player. The VLC Media Player window appears. It displays various commands that control VLC. Select the Media tab and click on Open File. The Select one or more files to open dialog box appears. Select the audio or video files that you want to play and click on Open button. With VLC Player, you can also create a playlist which is basically a list of all your favorite songs or videos. To do so, click on Tools then go to Playlist. The Playlist dialog box appears. Click on the Add to Playlist button followed by Add File option. The Open dialog box appears. Browse the files and click on the NQ option. In this way, you can add the desired files to the playlist. After arranging the list, close the playlist dialog box and click on the play button. You can also rearrange or repeat the songs in the playlist by clicking on the appropriate options. Students know that VLC Media Player provides a very attractive feature that enables you to take screenshots of a video while playing it. To capture a snapshot, go to Video and then go to Snapshot. Alright, let me explain you about Disk Cleanup. If you want to remove some unnecessary files from your hard disk to free up the disk space and to help your computer run faster, you can use Disk Cleanup feature. It empties the recycle bin, removes the temporary internet files, downloaded program files, offline web pages and other items that are not being used for a long time. Let us understand this through an activity. Disk Cleanup. Click on Start, then go to All Apps, and then go to Windows Administrative Tools, and then go to Disk Cleanup. Or type Disk Cleanup in search box and press Enter. The Disk Cleanup Drive Selection dialog box will open, asking you to select the drive. Now click the drop down arrow and select the drive that you want to clean up. Click OK. This function will search and display the unnecessary files which can be safely deleted. Select the files that you want to remove and click OK.